Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Grayson 49 and it's February! Oh yes! Oh yes! It's that time of year that you may not know is special, but is. Because February, which is mostly cold and uneventful, is actually going to be a really fun time at the park. A really wacky and crazy and, oh for goodness sake, you know what I'm going to say just by reading the title. It's wacky! It's fun! It's That's right! It may not feel this long, but Fun House at Vision Park actually opened on February the 1st. That means it's the attraction's first ever birthday, and I intend to celebrate it in the best way possible. So stand up to the buzzers and get ready to get gunged, because it's time to reveal all that's going on in Fun House February. No time for an intro, on with the info! Number one, the videos. All throughout Funhouse February, I'll be posting Funhouse themed videos. This includes a dumb video, a commentary on real episodes from myself and Carl the Fosh, and even something a little bit crazier. You see, I've done a discussion on the show, I've done dumb videos on the show, one of which even almost recreates the show's entire format. But it's not entirely a proper episode, which is what many of you have always wanted. A proper series of Funhouse made in Vision Park. The reason I haven't done this is mainly because I was waiting for the right time, and also because it takes a lot of work to pull these kinds of things off. And while I'm not giving you an entire season, I do intend to make your dreams a reality. So, I'm thrilled to announce that right here, on Clock Tower Entertainment, I will be recreating the show in the best possible way I can, with two episodes of Funhouse. Grazer, who are the contestants going to be? I mean, don't you need cheerleaders and all that? You are! Funhouse wouldn't work without its contestants and amazing cheerleaders, so I'm going to give you the chance to take part. All you have to do is be in the Discord server and apply through the Funhouse Applications channel. Here's how your application should kind of look. Your username at the top, the thing you want to be, which is either a red, yellow team contestant or cheerleader, and why you want to be on the show. It's as easy as that! I'll be picking out the contestants and cheerleaders next Friday, so you only have five days to send in your applications, everyone. All other details like the filming times and information will be available in the channel description, so click the link below to join in the fun! Number two, events. Fun house fact, the original show always used to be aired on Friday afternoons, always after school so you could start your weekend with a bang, which is a little something I'd like to bring back. So every Friday night of the next month, I'll be doing a meetup. We'll play games, ride the rides, talk ideas, and have a great time. And finally, number three, the final hour hotel. This one, of course, isn't related to Funhouse, but if you're into spooky fun, then this is sure to make your year. In case you didn't know, the final hour has been closed since the beginning of the 2020 season. The final hour has been shut down, and only a mysterious sign outside the boarded up door tells you its fate. The hotel will return February 14th. I don't want to give anything away yet, but from the 1st of February, teasers and more will be coming out about the final hour on my Twitter, so if you love this ride, make sure to keep checking in, because as we all know, no one ever checks out. As most of you probably know, February 14th is also Valentine's Day, which may or may not tie into some of the final hour's lore, which will also be updated and more detailed when the hotel reopens. I'm gutting the entire thing, so that very little from the original experience will be left, which is why hardcore fans have noticed there are no more free hotel rooms in the building. Keep an eye on my Twitter and look around the park for teasers, because when the final hour reopens, I think even the asylum's going to feel a little intimidated. Well, that's all I've got for you this week, boys and girls. Rewatch this video if you need to remember all the information, or just take a look at the Clock Tower Entertainment Twitter and Discord. I'll be posting a timetable there of everything that's going on, and without further ado, who's our employee of the week? And the employee of the week this week is Bob the Friendly Clown. For always serving players with a smile. <laughs>